Hello and welcome to another episode of Sigma's video how-to series. Today we'll be diving into a crucial aspect of data analytics, outlier detection. Properly understanding outliers can help you make more accurate predictions and analysis. So without further ado, let's get started. This video was written by Jacob Kalinowski from our technical support team and co-presented by myself, Curtis DeCastro from the customer success team. Thanks, Curtis. Okay, so first off, what exactly is an outlier? According to Wikipedia, an outlier is a data point that significantly differs from other observations. It could be due to measurement variability, experimental error, or it could indicate something novel. Now let's see how Sigma can help us identify these outliers. Sigma offers a straightforward way to calculate the standard deviation using the standard D function. Let me show you how. So I have this table that has the day of date and the total sales per date. So I can go into this summary down here and add a new summary and use the formula standard div the total sales. Once we have the standard deviation, the next step is to find the average of your data set. In Sigma, you can use the average function for this. Now, how do we define an outlier? We have the standard deviation and we have the average of the data set. A common rule is to check within three standard deviations of the average of the data set. So we can start off with the first summary that will be average of total sales plus three times the standard deviation. And then we can do the same here where we take the average minus three times the standard deviation. So this will be our upper limit and this will be our lower limit. I'm going to update the titles here to be upper and this one to be lower. Using these bounds, we can check if the values here are outliers or if they are within the upper and lower range that we have defined. And so we're going to use the between function and we're going to do a little trick. The between function will return true if the total sales is between the lower and the upper limit that we have. Let's choose the upper column. So if it is within this range, we want to return false. Otherwise, we will return true. The reason that we are doing it this way is because we are going to name this column is outlier. And if we filter to only true values, this will show all of the outliers that do not lie within this range. And there you have it. That's how you can easily detect outliers in Sigma. There are definitely ways that you can go a bit further with this, um, such as using the moving functions, moving average and moving standard deviation. And if you want to get really fancy, then we can start diving into Snowpark and using Snowflake and running machine learning models. Thanks, Jacob. And there you have it, folks. That's how easily you can detect outliers in Sigma. And thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to the Sigma user community for more insightful tips and tricks. See you next time.